G'day! In my last video on the 9 volt Max E scooter, I mentioned there was one last thing I wanted to do to improve its stability and make it feel safer to ride, and that was replace the handlebars. Hi there! It's time to use the knife. I've got a box that I can use sniggering that detaches the joys of cycling. We go on with the next bit. Now it's time for my big reveal. Have a smashing Easter. It's great fun. Tune in. So it's a wet winter's day. No good for riding around on the e-scooter either. So I thought I'd do that one last major thing to the 9 bot Max that I've been wanting. These handlebars that come with it, they're horrible. They're too narrow and they're absolutely straight. Now I understand why they make them like this, just about every scooter has bars like that. Narrow and straight. They're made for packing away, they're made for storage, they're made to be narrow and uh, not get in the way. But they're not made for riding, they're horrible. They're very jittery when you ride, you don't have a lot of control. The whole geometry of the scooter is not good. It makes it harder to be stable on it, makes it easier to come off, harder to control. You think about push bikes, they've been around for 150 years or something. And a lot of work has gone into the geometry of those things. The angles of the forks, the stem angle, the style of the handlebars, the shape, everything about them has been worked out thoroughly to make them more stable and easier. Scooters don't get that treatment. They're made to be uh, narrow, uh, to fit in boots of cars, to fit in storage spaces in your little flat. They're not made primarily to ride. So the geometry of the stem and uh, the handlebar width and everything is just horrible. I'm going to replace my bars with something a bit wider, a bit easier, a bit better. So I just got this uh, typical sort of bike bar to put on there. Instead of the uh, narrow straight bars, I'll have this. It's wider, it's more angled. Because of the width, it's easier to control the scooter. Now, I can't do anything about the geometry of the stem. That's major engineering work. And I wish they'd sort those things out on scooters to make them safer. So I want to put this bar in place of the original. However, as usual, there are problems. You've got four torque screws here holding this thing on the front. They're cheap and nasty things, okay, which is unfortunate because two of them won't budge and I've tried all sorts of ways to try to get the damn things to move two of them are absolutely stuck so because I couldn't take the front off where the uh, original handlebars are that limited what I could do so what I've had to do is hack down the original bars cut the other pair in half and attach them together and I used uh, aluminium tubing as sleeves to connect the original bars with the new bars I've had to extend the wiring on the thumb throttle and also on the brake when you enact the brake it cuts out the motor and brings in regen braking anyway so that's got to be rewired up because both those things the throttle and the brake were further away from the stem and the original wiring was nowhere near long enough so splicing in new wiring working out what tubing to do and working out the exact width in the end that I wanted so now it's quite wide it's probably twice as wide as the original so if you want to pack it away behind a door somewhere in your apartment, it's probably not going to work. But I don't do that. In fact, I don't really fold that thing down at all. So the width doesn't matter. It adds stability. So perhaps there's a good aftermarket for handlebars for the 9 bot Max. Oops. <laughs> my handlebars are missing. I'm halfway through changing my uh, 9 bot handlebars because they're way too narrow. So I've got these wider handlebars to attach somehow to the original bars. I'm gonna mount them on there somehow. So, that's the project. So success, a lot wider, all the brake 
wired up the uh, thumb throttle wired up still got the bell that should be a lot more stable so time to test out the new handlebars a lot wider seems more stable yeah we'll just see how they go in real life So there you go, it rides well, I can even use one hand on it, <laughs> um, not that I plan to a lot, but it is that much more stable than those narrow straight bars that just didn't give you any confidence at all when you're riding it. So the wider bars, the angle's nicer on my wrist, don't have to hold like that all the time, it's much more relaxed way to, uh, to hold the bars. So what do you think? Maybe if you've modded your 9V Max, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Okay. Whatever you do, get out there on your scooter and have some fun. Ciao.